So in this movie, Zach, played by Dane DeHaan, has a girlfriend named Beth, played by Aubrey Plaza, and she dies, and she comes back, back to life through the grave, and she's basically a zombie. And so Dane DeHaan wants to, you know, just spend a lot of time with her and just, you know, still uh, see if he can re-spark that, that magic they had as a, 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 a couple. Well, that's, that's all fun and games, but, like, like, towards the end of the movie, Aubrey Plaza looks terrible. She looks decrepit and wrinkly and disgusting and just like a really bad-looking corpse. I mean, she looks like roadkill that's been run over by a car at least twice. So what's it like when they have sex? I guess the best way I can put it is, like, let's, let's take a couple vegetables. I guess it'd be like sticking a fresh untouched carrot and shoving it into like a rotten squash. Take that image out of your head. Welcome to Roll Reviews. I'm Chase Lee. I'm here to review Life After Beth. This is written and directed by Jeff Baina. B Bina? Baina. I'm going to go with Baina. I'm terrible with names, but his last name is spelled B A. B-A-E-N-A. -A. I'm going to go with Baina for now. That's probably what it is. You guys are smarter than me. It's okay. I make mistakes. So I'm here to review Life After Beth, and i got to tell you that this is a nice little indie film, a nice little horror comedy. It's like a mix. It, you can tell it's very low budget. It's very, very independent feel like. It's got the um, very amateur filmmaking style, but it's also got the clever story writing of a horror comedy. And it, I think it works for the most part. Uh, when it comes to the horror aspect, I thought that was nailed very, very well by the director. Comedy-wise, it was funny in some parts, but I gotta say most of the humor missed for me. It wasn't bad, it was just kind of like, you know, they could have, like, taken it a step further, or, like, they could have had a, another joke for that, but it was just kind of like, yeah, like, there were some parts that were just, eh, eh. So overall, the tone for this movie, directing-wise, I think it works really well for a horror comedy indie. It's just the comedy aspect of the horror comedy, I thought it could have been a little bit better. There are some parts where, like, they are flat-out hilarious, and I give the director props for really bringing that to life in this genre, because I haven't seen a good horror comedy since Shaun of the Dead, and that was a long time ago. I don't know the exact number of years, but I can tell you it was a long time ago. Like me being in high school a long time ago. Yeah. So, I haven't seen a good horror comedy since Shaun of the Dead. And I think for the most part, if you're a horror comedy buff, you will really enjoy this movie. And I think the director really nailed that tone and balance between like an indie movie and like a horror comedy. I think the... Just... The story and the writing of it is really clever enough to where it will it will entertain you for the whole 90 minutes. So I think the directing is very good for the most part. It's just the comedy aspects didn't really hit with me as much as I wanted it to. Acting-wise, Aubrey Plaza, Dane DeHaan, uh, they have really good chemistry as a couple. Didn't think they would. Uh, Aubrey Plaza is funny. She's, she's always funny. I like her in Parks and Rec. I've, already, I've seen her in a couple movies and stuff. She's great. Dane DeHaan... I love you do as an actor, like dramatic wise, but just just be in more comedies and you'll get you'll get better at it. He was kinda like the weak link, but it's not his fault. Like he's a great actor. He just needs to do more comedies and stuff. So I think the acting for the most part is is very good. It's very exceptional. And Aubrey Plaza hits her comedic points very, very well. Daniel Hans not as much. Uh, John C. Riley's in this, Molly Shannon. So it's a great supporting cast, a great set of characters. So the acting is not the issue. It's just Dane DeHaan could be in more comedies. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. But he's still an amazing actor, so I still love you, dude. Place Beyond the Pines. Watch that one. Um, so cinematography wise, this is like I said, shot very indie like. The the color palettes are very, very um, toned down. They're not as bright or colorful. It's just kind of like a, a very like the saturation's gone basically. Like, that's the best way to put it, is that it's just shot in a very, um, very medium tone of colors. And it kind of reminds me of, like, most, um, any movies I've seen. Like, uh, Short Term 12, you guys saw that one that came out last year? It kind of looks like that one. 
or the one I love, I literally saw it two weeks ago, it kind of looks like that one. They all have like the same type of color palette, which is not a bad thing. Um, it's shot really well. There's really nothing to complain about the cinematography. I mean, unless the cinematography really sucks a lot, I really don't like um, like bashing it because it's a better movie that I could ever shoot. Um, so the cinematography is very good. It's very very good to look at. Uh, some of the uh, graphics uh, and the visuals of like the blood and stuff, like the special effects, those look awesome. Uh, just like every horror comedy should. So it looks good. Color is good. Shot well. Nothing to complain in that department. Uh, editing wise, the movie is 90 minutes long, but it flies by. I was I was entertained, regardless if like there were some parts that didn't really click with me in terms of humor and stuff. I, I was really engaged in the story just because I was just so interested in seeing how it's gonna end, and it totally paid off. That's the one thing I really liked about it. It really paid off in the end. Uh, <laughs> of just uh, Dan DeHaan and Aubrey Plaza's characters uh, <laughs> uh, ending the movie. Basically, I I thought that was worth it, so I really enjoyed that. So, overall, I will give this, uh, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. I think it's a good, solid B uh, comedy horror movie, independent. It's Like I said, it's a good blend. Uh, the writing's very good. It's a very clever story. I like the acting. Aubrey Plaza hits it in all of her points. She's the funniest part, and as she should, she's the main character. Well, essentially. Dane DeHaan is, but the movie's named after her, so uh, I, I usually just judge off of that. Uh... Dane Hunt's great as always, just needs to be more comedies. Supporting cast, great. Looks good. The effects are great. The gore is awesome. Nice, interesting little clever story that I would I would literally compare it in the leagues of a Shaun of the Dead, just not quite up there. But it is a very nice, refreshing uh, spin on horror comedy, and it's really nothing that I've never seen before, so props to that. So have you guys seen Live Life After Beth or have you even heard of it? Comment that place throw up on my face and let me know. And as always, thanks for watching my reviews. I'm Chase Lee and tune next time for whatever I review next. See you guys later.